Leaders of the All Progressive Congress in Plateau State have resolved to put an end to the lingering crisis rocking the party and embrace peace. The agreement was reached at a reconciliatory meeting held at the government house in Lafia, the capital of Nasarawa State. Senior reporter Godin Aguam reports. It's the first time that leaders of the APC in Plateau State will be meeting in the convivial atmosphere since it lost out at the 2023 general election. Former Governor and incumbent Senator Simon Lalong, former Governor Joseph Dairi, former Minister Paul Intalin, and other party stars were present at the meeting. The meeting was hosted by the National State Governor and midwived by the Reconciliation Committee of the party in Plateau State. The meeting seeks to bring an end to the lingering crisis in the party in Plateau and get them to work as one. I hereby deeply appreciate our leaders and stakeholders for honoring this invitation to be built our heritage. Peace, our baby, in the name of God. I don't mind kneeling down to beg us in the name of God. At the end of this meeting today, NBC Plato will be one. After exhausting deliberations, leaders of the party agreed to bury their differences and forge ahead. I said yes. I'm the first governor of the BC. The first governor of the BC. If there was any problem, I take responsibility. If I don't take responsibility, if I don't take responsibility, who will take responsibility? Peace is all that we need. And by the grace of God, this coming will give back to peace. But what is the ingredient for peace? The ingredient for peace is fairness and justice. You can't talk of peace in the midst of injustice. I want us to leave our belief in Nasrallah. Let's come with a simple head approach. The reconciliation will not provide a fertile ground for the parties to strategize and form a formidable force ahead of the next general elections. Godwin, Agua, TVC News, Lafia. Joining me now to ha talk more on this, we have um, a former commissioner for information in Plateau State, Yakubu Dati. He joins us from Abuja studio. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much and uh, good evening, viewers. So before this particular meeting was held, um, the, the, the Idris Wase-led reconciliation committee had reached out to critical stakeholders of the APC to try and aggregate their concerns. What were some of the findings of that committee? Well, some of the findings was that uh, especially after the loss of the last governorship election, uh, there was naturally there was a lot of uh, blames here and there. But the findings of the committee, which went across, uh, had discussions with uh, more than 200 stakeholders individually and collectively found out that there were people that felt that grief by steps taken by the leaders of the party. And at that reconciliation party, the leaders came out, like you can see from the news, uh, to uh, apologize and sue for peace and so that Plateau State would be reclaimed and return to its status as part of the committee of states that belong to the All Progressive Party. Hmm. And I was listening to the former minister there, Pauline uh, Tallinn, who was talking about um, that for peace to happen, there must be justice and fairness. Uh, can it be said that this meeting has now led to um, issues around justice and fairness in the party, and that all those who have been aggrieved have now uh, put, put, an, you know, put aside their grievances? Yes, the focus of the meeting and what everybody agreed on was there was a need to come back to the table, to come back to the family and uh, uh, come back and uh, build the party from where we stopped and to also to be able to align the party to the national uh, party, which is the All Progressive Party. And as you can see from the news item, uh, there was a, for the first time, a, an attendance of uh, people and leaders caught across different interests. Uh, we had two former governors there present, uh, our Right Honorable Simon Bakola along, who is the present senator. Uh, we had uh, uh, Senator Joshua Chididare. We had uh, two former deputy governors, uh, Professor Sonny Tioden, uh, Dame Pauline Talen, 
We had uh, several senators, including Senator Nora Dadut, uh, Senator Ezekiah Adimka, Senator Timothy Adudu. We had leaders like Chief uh, Amos Gizo, uh, Honorable Komson Longap. You know, from the local government, the leaders, the, the, the also up to the youths that came together. Local government chairman, the Plateau State House of Assembly was also uh, there in their numbers. And all that is to ensure that whatever, whoever feels... Uh, unjustified or unfairly treated, the issues were laid bare. And I to also tell you that there was a technical session which uh, gave room for frank discussion. And that in itself uh, gave room uh, for the fact that there was a, a decision, an agreement that the, the party should be rebuilt back and whatever differences we have, like every family, there is bound to be misunderstanding, misrepresentation and differences, but they, we must be able to manage those differences to be able to move together. And uh, Plateau is like a mini Nigeria. We are talking about a state of about, about uh, more than f uh, 50 uh, ethnic nationalities. We have uh, uh, people who have different uh, religion. So it's a peri pursuit of Nigeria. And so having been able to manage ourselves for the past eight years and the results therein, people are beginning to yearn for the return of the APC, especially with the disastrous support, uh, performance of the present PDP in the state. What next for, for the APC in Plateau State? Well, I think that meeting already has shown clearly that uh, the leaders of the APC in the state have determined to ensure that they play their role. And uh, the fact that mo uh, most of the votes that actually went to the opposition party were APC votes. And most of the people that also left to other parties are people from the APC. And we are seeing them coming back together. Because having realized that if you don't put your party in power and you put a different party in power, you, you find that you are not part of that government. And uh, the peace and security and tranquility we enjoyed in Plateau for the past eight years is suddenly being rubbish by just after one year of being out of power. So the, the overall interest of the state is what is driving our leaders to come together to be able to chart a course and restore Plateau States to its glory. Right, we're well, following that development in Plateau State. Thank you so much for your time. Former Commissioner for Information in Plateau State, Yakubo Dati. Thank you very much.